We're back here in Tazewell, Indiana at Red's Custom Design. I've got the ProMaster 3500 extended high top here. We got a sleeper bunk build to do, some storage boxes, and an auxiliary fuel tank for my diesel heater that I got last time. So follow me through this build and I hope you enjoy it. And if you got any questions or pricing or anything along that, uh, just contact Red's Custom Design in the description. He's on Facebook, he's on Instagram. Great guy, love my work, and I am definitely a repeat customer. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be insulating this little section here. You got a sliding door right there. Everything from the front of the sliding door back to the end of the sliding door is gonna be insulated, carpeted. It's gonna be nice. It's gonna be like my little my little home. And then right here, right in this little uh, I guess cross member you can call it, we're gonna wall it off, and we're gonna have a bulkhead. The swinging door bulkhead's been done before, but should be pretty nice. When you get get started on it, I'll give you an update. All right, we're back here. We've got the plywood floor laid down, and we've got part of the bulkhead assembled. The left side here is being cut so that we can fit two vent holes. Uh, original vent for our heater is right there but we're going to have a piece of wood right here connecting to that top brace and i'll have two holes in it one for lower and one for upper that we get a little more even even heating and the bed is actually going to go right up against this bulkhead door that way it'll give me a little more room to stand get dressed do what i have to do go, go in the front of the van out the back of the van instead of having to go directly on the seat so and i actually also have a memory foam mattress which i cut down a little smaller just to give me more room because every inch in this van matters and we'll see that once the finished product is here to see how nicely it fits together but i'm excited about it and i'll catch you all for the next update okay don't mind the mess but that's all the, the leftovers of the uh insulation tape here speaking of insulation we got it, uh, it's pretty much covered now. We've got the sidewall, we've got the ceiling here. We've got some pre-wiring for a light, a max air fan, and also an air conditioner here. If and when, well, it's more of a matter of when I decide to upgrade to having a full air conditioner right here in this section. So it's blocked, braced, insulated, all prepped for a fan or insulation. Uh, right now we're actually gonna be sticking a piece of insulation right here. We're going to be covering it all up for now because there's not going to be anything uh, installed here yet. Okay, we're back here. Got the carpeted walls and roof update. Everything's going along. This is all nice solid wood. We've got a nice step up over here going in between the driver and passenger seat. Again, nice solid wood. This wraps all the way around uh, using the original bulkhead screws. This is all solid, wraps around. We've got headliner protection in the ceiling. Tucks right underneath the factory headliner for the storage space up there. Very clean install. Uh, down here, we've got the same kill switch for the house battery, and we also have our LED light control, which is right up here. And if it gets too bright, I could always switch it to the single light and I can control it right from this one switch here. So not too much more to go on this build. We've got a storage shelf being put in right here. It's gonna be a black painted piece of wood and we're gonna have nice wicker baskets hanging up there. It's gonna look sweet. And then also for the door, of course, got upper and lower carpeting, insulation, all secured. So coming along. I'll shoot you back with the next update when we work on the side storage boxes and we got a fuel tank we're mounting there for our diesel heater. All right, we got a little more done here in the sleeper area. We've got the door mounted. Uh, we got the Luon with the carpet being glued right now inside. So that'll be being put on there very shortly. We've got the bed down here. It's uh, 30 inches wide. That's, that's what I requested specifically. You can have it wider, shorter. You can not have a bed, whatever you want. Everything's completely customizable here. But on this, we've got rails on either side. 
This isn't latched anything, so we can move it out of the way if you have to put freight there. And the inverter, we're chopping and changing that. We're going to be moving the inverter a little bit. We're going to close that area off, make a little laptop tray. It's going to look nice. Okay, we're back here now. We've got some uh, storage boxes underway here. We've got the um, X track here on the side, so I'll put freight securement. They are braced, so they're not really load bearing, but they definitely help with tying down your pallets. As you can see there. Now, this side is significantly taller than the other side. A really deep storage pocket back there. Um, eventually, down the road, we can put cabinet doors in here. We can do anything we want with that. And we also got our fuel tank mounted, hooked up. It works. That's a 17 gallon tank there for the diesel heater. In the future, it could also be drained. You could put gasoline in it, run a generator, whatever you need to do. Now, there's one awesome little modification we've done here. Is that this tank doesn't quite sit all the way down because of the wheel well. So here we've got a little jack cubby hole with a swing out door. And it's solid right now. It doesn't wiggle, nothing. So no, no flimsy wood here. You just have a little pin right here. You slide that up and the door comes out. And obviously when you've got freight back here and say you have an emergency and you got to jack up the vehicle, uh, you could pull this out just enough to get that jack out or there's the stock vehicle jack in the front seat. Uh, that's just your standard 510 jack. Makes the job a little easier, quicker. All personal preference. Everything's completely customizable. Here at Reds, whatever you want, we can make it happen. We still got to get our ratchets for the back of that door, but there's not much else that's going to be going on here. We're going to be putting uh, swinging lids on these cabinets on either side here. That way you can store stuff on top of it, inside of it, wherever you need to. And it keeps the freight area open, clear, unobstructed. And that door swings all the way up to this last LED light here on the, in the center of the screen. So it swings out of the way, doesn't impede anything. Uh, I'm not planning on hanging all this stuff here on the side like you got. That's just there temporarily just to give us some breathing room while we work on this. So I will update you guys once we get... A little more progress then. All right, that's the final phase of the project. There we have it, our swing up door. And don't mind that gap there, the door is not latched in yet, so it's, uh, it's loose. But we have our shelf installed up there with our wicker baskets. You fit quite a few of them up there. It's nice and sturdy. It's got four points of latching on the corners and then it's got L brackets across the top there. We've got our trim going all the way around. This van did not, or this van had a bulkhead in here. So the factory did not provide plastic covering. So we built this, seals it off, gives us a nice finished look. We have this baseboard here, along with a nice sturdy platform to get to the front of the, the business end of the vehicle up there. So. We've got a, our initial vent for the heater right there in that corner in the back. You can see there's really no seam under the door. There's a little bit, but then again, the door's not latched completely. We'll hop up in here. This is, yes, this is of course a table, which when you pull it out, try not to get that cord stuck. Locks in, pretty sturdy table. Throw our laptop right up here. This is your standard 15 inch screen laptop. We've got enough room. Mouse pad, wherever you want to put up here. Eat dinner. It's a seamless transition right here. It's very tight, solid. Got my power drive 1500 inverter. You can put whatever inverter you want. It's a great spot for it. I've got plenty of room to expand. What's great about my build is this little front plate you can barely see. That unscrews and when I go home and get the right cord for it, it goes right here. I just cut this open. There's a there's a little recess right here that's already pre-cut for it. So I just slice that open with a knife, uh, X-Acto knife, and slide the display in there and screw it in. It'll show me my voltage. Battery cut off. Light control. We'll swing up here. We've got our LED light here. Both sides do work. It's just I only need one. 
And that's about it. Very simple, clean build. Easy to get in and out. The bed just folds right up. And you could slide a third pallet into this van, no problem. And uh, the door hinge stops here, but it's a quick release for this wood panel all the way across the other side. There's about four screws holding that in. I could pop that out and get an even taller pallet in here if I had to. And that's it. And again, if you remember from the beginning, there's a spot right there that's already pre-drilled, pre-wired, all for a fan or air conditioner, whatever you need. It's already pre-wired. And you can see this whole panel here pops off. You can access anything behind there. It's three-quarter inch plywood behind that. You can mount the TV there, whatever you want. I'm going to be putting a window right here in the future. That's about it. Let's take a look at the back. in the back let's get these doors open and here we are all said and done got our storage boxes here front all the way down open all the way up uh, just got stuff thrown in there right now and this box right here some top to our fuel tank here so everything's accessible so I fuel it here's our gauge fire extinguisher there's really not much to say I'm glad it's all done everything I wanted got some ideas for the future what I could do back here and that's all it takes so again if you want to look, learn more Contact Red at Red's Custom Design. Everything's in the description here. I just got the bill about 20 minutes ago, so I'm not recovering from a heart attack or anything. It's very fair priced. I'm really happy with the work I have here, and I will be back. If not with this van, with a future van. Hope you all enjoyed. Check out the channel for more van conversions.